Hi, and welcome to Simply Fun's Online School of Playology. In this session, we'll tell you about Simply Fun's Head of the Herd, a fast paced competitive group game. You can play Head of the Herd with three or more players ages eight and up. Head of the Herd comes with a game board and six colored moose pawns and the moose crown. There are also 78 cards, including Head of the Herd cards, Law of the Land cards, and Duck Duck Moose cards. Head of the Herd is a perfect game to play with friends, at parties, or at family gatherings. Watch, listen, and obey the law of the land, or you'll never be head of the herd. To set up the game, place the game board in the center of the table. Each player chooses a different colored moose pawn and places it on the start level. Shuffle the head of the herd cards, the duck duck moose cards, and the law of the land cards separately and place them in three different piles beside the game board. Now turn over the top two law of the land cards and place them face up along the left side of the board so all players can see them clearly. Law of the land cards apply to all players, so make sure you read the cards and follow the law as soon as gameplay begins. To begin play, the first player turns over a head of the herd card and obeys the instructions on the card. Sounds easy enough, but the player must also continue to follow the law of the land cards as well as remain in good standing as a law-abiding moose. Here's an example. Your head of the herd card says point right and the law of the land cards say you can't use your right hand and you can't point your finger unless a head of the herd card allows it. This takes a little thought. But if you manage to point right with your left hand, you'll be okay for that turn. If you fail to obey the instructions on all cards during your turn, you must advance your moose pawn ahead to the next level on the game board, moving you one step closer to the out level and losing the crown. And if during your turn another player violates the law of the land, they too must move their moose pawn forward. Players take turns in a clockwise direction and attempt to obey all the instructions and laws on each turn. The catch is this, though. Every time you draw a head of the herd card, you have new instructions to follow in light of the current laws of the land. And every time one player advances a level on the board because he failed to follow instructions, he must replace one law of the land card with a new one, ensuring that nobody gets too comfortable with the rules. When only two players remain on the board, the game shifts into an antler-to-antler -antler moose fight called duck-duck-moose where you must make a gesture according to the card. Duck Duck Moose moves fast, and if you can't make the gesture first, or you make a mistake, you're out. The game ends when only one moose in the herd is left on the board to be crowned head of the herd. Watch, listen, and obey, even when the rules keep changing and you keep laughing, and you'll be crowned head of the herd.